I hope so too <laughs> here. It's this little area of rainfall for the last hour and change. It's been moving down south of 85. It's had some pretty heavy rainfall. It's not severe, but it's kind of expanded here into Greenwood, South Carolina, east of the river. So from Athens, Elberton, all the way to Greenwood, Looks like Wilkes, maybe Lincoln, McCormick County get a little bit of wet weather before anybody else here. Let's talk flash flooding risk. Now there is something to uh, kind of watch for late evening and showers and storms could be heavy with rain at night and early into Friday morning. That's mainly a slight to marginal risk for the next day and a half here. Saturday through the weekend and into Monday, there's not much of a risk there. So we'll keep our eyes watching that system here. It's kind of a cloudy look though. Grove Town, not too terribly busy, but certainly picking up more traffic than usual. Columbia County, parts of Richmond County back into schools this morning and heading into to, uh, temperatures that are mainly in the lower to mid 70s. Not much of a change there between 70 and 74 degrees. It's middle and upper 80s into our afternoon forecast. There may be a little wet weather though to deal with coming home. So getting started here with a little exercise low to mid 70s. That's not a bad setup here. A little breeze out of the south between three and five. We're coming in with mid upper 70s. The weekend's not far off. So just a couple of days of starting back to school. And then you got the weekend to look forward to. What we will find coming back is some heat. We're going to we've been taking a little bit of a break from a lot of the middle 90s that is going to uh, start working back in here. More seasonal average highs kind of putting us right there between 93 to 95 degrees going into next week. All right, baseball tonight at SRP Park Thursday Thursday, always a popular one here. By the time we start working our way into the latter half of the game, though, the rain and thunderstorm opportunities begin to elevate even more. So not the best news there. 705 first pitch for Thursday Thursday. We'll have low 80s there at 7 p.m., but lower to mid. 70s. I'd say 72 to 74. It's about what our range of temperatures are here in the metro, which is mainly that rain off to the north and west of us this morning. So middle to upper 80s through tomorrow, 90 degree heat putting us back on track for average of 94 as we work into the weekend and the start of next week. So a little bit of rain. That's what we're watching coming in early this morning. More than likely holding off to the north. Can't rule out maybe a few scattered showers, though, from about Washington to Saluda heading into this morning and midday. Now the afternoon and early evening definitely start picking up with rain chances here. Some scattered showers and storms we get into early Friday morning in the 70s might have 90 degree heat coming into tomorrow here. We'll have a mix of sun and clouds, mostly cloudy skies. An isolated storm or two, though, could help bring those temperatures down. Start moving into the weekend on Saturday, Saturday morning looking great, but it is going to return back to some mid 90s. It's going to get hot this weekend and the humidity values are going to start going back up too. So so look for a return of the 90s out of the weekend and next week. The chance for scattered showers and storms and maybe a little heavy rain at times coming in later on this afternoon and through late tonight. We're at 6 